Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so we have seen the, the maid of Sophia, seen how she was killed. Let's go back and tell Joy what we've seen. If we can figure out which way it was to get back to her. Oh, there's no demons around here. They give you a lot of these hiding spots when there's no demons about. I don't really know why. Maybe it's to make you like travel quicker, because you can click on it, you know, and you teleport across quick, I don't know. Across the river there. What's this? Got a twelve <laughs> not getting twelve more of them, no chance. Alright, here's Joy. Ronin! I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Tell me you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake and let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is... He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he... He confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible bell killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Not again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Okay, so I'll meet you at the hospital. Worse nightmare than this. It's Rex. Okay, so we're heading to the asylum next. There might have been a bell killer attack survivor. Okay, let's go find her. I can't believe this. Hopefully this woman isn't crazy and she can actually speak some sense to tell us. Like, because she's a, um, a survivor to his attacks before, but she's also gone a bit crazy. It's psychotic from what happened, probably. Traumatised. Maybe like they sell the souls and that's the contract or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to piece things together in my own head. Alright, let's go to the hospital. Mental hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, they better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? 
Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. Kid, you're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. We just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. Okay, so okay, is handicapped. Let's try and like get on the same level as her. Let's inspect the things first on the desk. So visitation severely limited. T-Rex. Get well gift. So she's gonna give that to her kid, probably. Let's look at the picture. What's that say? Young boy on crutches. Nothing else we can actually look at before we possess her. Doesn't look like. Maybe we can peek at what she's doing. No. Just wanna try to find the last clue before we do it. See if there's anything. What's this? He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Uh, what? I'm just safe. The Look at the cat on the, uh, <laughs> on the clothesline. <laughs> is that the next clue? So there are soft spots, kittens, um, some kind of kid she knows that's on crutches, either a, maybe a nephew or her own child, who knows. Okay, let's influence her. What would make the reception help Joy? Um, boof. The visiting hours schedule, that won't help. Okay, most of these are quite obvious, so I'm just trying to think. Photo of a boy, maybe she can... Understand by knowing that people need a second chance by looking at the kid. Inspiration post is not going to do anything. Okay, well, I'm going to try the boy. A young boy in Quitches, the receptionist must be close to him. Let's make her think of him so then she's on like a good thought. That's it. Nice. Kiddo, I hate being here and wondering if you're okay. You're all I have left. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry. I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hi, kid. I got this. Just need to get Case. my eyes on her computer screen. So she's just looked it up, so it'll be on the screen. Yeah, Iris Campbell, room 216. That. Iris Campbell has security ward, room 216. That's the most relevant thing that we need. It's the location. Correct the mundo. She's in room 216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. Shit. So before they fry her brain anymore, we need to go get her. Coast is clear. Women's ward. This way. Any demons in here before we go? <laughs> this is the women's ward here. 216, was it? 
There's more ghosts in here. Look at these buttons. We can poltergeist. Just open the that's that's nice. So the more um upgraded the security is, the easier it is for ghosts to get into. You know it's easier for the ghost to get through a security door than it is to actually open a unsecured door because they have to actually touch it. Okay. It's just an empty room. But Joey's back there. We need to guide her through, don't we? Can we just tell her to go? What's she doing sitting back there? Come on, bitch. What are you doing? Maybe if I just get to the place, then she'll... Yeah, yeah. Is this a bug or something? Because, like, it's not. Oh, the camera. God. Come on. Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Let's get moving. Another camera. You get on it. I mean, you know, I've just come back from playing Watch Dogs playing this game. So, I'm used to cameras not really paying attention to you. <laughs> It's just that's the way it is in that game, strangely, as it's all about like technology and hacking. Okay, I need to get this guy out of the way now. A cop got killed. We can use the TV. Let's go do the TV. Okay, go on. You're not gonna go, are you? Why didn't you go? There's another camera somewhere. There's a camera there, that's why. So we'll do that. Oh, she's gonna go now. So that guard's gonna stay there. Not guard, you know. Person who works in a ward nurse. Let's okay, I need to get inside here again. To get past this. You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess. Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. So I think I think demons are people that haven't moved on to the afterlife. You know, figured out what they're meant to be here for, no, or no, unfinished no, business. No. What do we do? All right, keep going. Get to Iris's room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! Um. So get around the it's a ghost wall. Why is that in the way? Sealed. Couldn't I do something before, like, with, like, observe Maniac Ward? I did something a bit early in the graveyard where I removed the gate. I'm sure I just press square on it or something like that. Any demons? Doesn't look like just yet. I'm assuming this is the way to... Oh, we can teleport, can't we? Could have done that before to get past the. Um... Hey, we need a kit. We need a cat or something again. There's a cat there. Nice. <laughs> so I was looking for. How lucky is that? Is this the same cat? <laughs> Maybe this is the bell killer. <laughs> There's a skull in here. How the hell did I get in here? Whoa. Demons. Demons! Yep. The demon's gonna kill cats. Right, I think there's a gap there. I'll probably take this one. Whoa! Break your legs. I think we can go back up there if we want to. Yeah, we can. Um, let's just dispossess this. Like we can walk through this wall. There we can. Let's take these demons out. The 
there's one right there. There's another one next to him. So there's one coming this way, and the other one's facing this way. He's walking away now, let's get him. Let's get this one as well. Nice. Okay, there's one more around the corner, there he is. He's on the other side of this wall. I pressed it like three times. Jump. I kept I was pressing it and then I was like out of range of it or just not aiming at it properly. And then I pressed it again, pressed it again, then they, they changed around eventually. Right, go back to your little spot, mate. Go on. Yep. So when he turns around now, we'll go get him. Turn around. Come here, bitch. Alright. Where are we going? I think we're probably going to go this way because this is the side where they were all guarding. Oh, it's like a torture room. Um, this might. Uh, this is a new new area, so I'm hoping this is the right way. Teleport through that. Okay, well that's the ghost wall. We've gone past it now. Where's Joy? Come on, Joy. Hey. It's a camera as well. Come on, Joy. Two on five. Okay, it's two on six or two on seven. I can't remember, but we're near. We're almost there. Two on sevens there. There's two on six. See what our comatose witness has to offer. So she still knows something about this contract. Let's see what what's going on. Oh, we, we can't get inside. She booted me out somehow. All right. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Okay. So the seven clues. We're gonna find out what she knows about the contract. Let's save this for the next part. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.